Hey folks, it's IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Vert in the FV4005. It's a tier 10 game on highway. Um, the new highway, but still, highway. They rebalanced the map and uh, took it out of the rotation for a little bit. So they could rebalance it and try and make it better. Yeah, tell me in the comments if you guys think it's better or not. Right? I mean, it's this happened more than once with this map, so we'll see. Maybe this is the, the thing, but, you know, I highly doubt it, right? Okay, how many times did they take Dragon's Ridge off before they finally killed that? Hands up if you remember that map. Anyway, so, uh, his vert is platooned up with two Type 5 heavies. In between all three of them, somebody's really going to get hurt. Yes, um, he is likely to fi fire Hesh for most of this game. But it's going to be so worth it, believe me. Uh, so I've actually already recorded this entire game. And I got all the way through up until uh, the part where I know I'm going to jump over and record the battle stand or, or battle results. And then my computer crashed and everything died. So if I know what's going to happen before it happens, it's because you guys need to see this. Because it is glorious. But I'm going to know what's going to happen before it happens. So yeah. License Maniac. Keep an eye on that guy. Uh, he's going to become later on, or important later on. So I'm not happy with the fact that we're going out side on. Um, this is just a, a great way to get shot in the side. But I guess if the enemies would happen to do the same thing, then maybe it balances out a little bit. Also, don't forget, those two, two fight, type 5 are definitely still coming. They're not here yet, but they're going to be here soon. And there is the enemies. Uh, they're not actually in position for us to shoot them yet. But one of them is going to be in position very soon. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the side of a <laughs> Panzer 7. And that is a thousand damage on a Panzer 7. Who is still out in the middle of the road, by the way. And he gets shot once. And then twice. And then he gets finished off. No, no, mind. I'm sorry. He, it's the, the, the VK that takes the, the other shot. But of course, the other Panzer 7s is like, oh, they've already fired. I can run down to the middle of the road, side on to the enemy. You know, oddly enough, running out side on to the enemy is a bad plan. Don't do it. But these guys seem to be doing it everywhere that they possibly can. The object did an okay job. Um, the likelihood of us being loaded right then was not a lot, except he then couldn't get out of the way and definitely couldn't protect his lower glacis in time to get away with it. And so we did 1300 damage to him and now he's going to get killed by the T-55A, who again you guys are supposed to be keeping an eye on. Um, if you weren't, now you know why. And he's going to show up later on in the video. That is the back end of a T-30. That was the back end of a T-30. Artillery is taking pot shots at us, and unfortunately, one of our Type Fives goes down. Darkish Warrior, or Darkish Shadow Warrior, or something like that. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'd say Dark Shadow Warrior, except there's a random I in there somewhere. Um, and so the VK decides to take cover. Unfortunately, sniped. I mean, that was a really good snipe, though. I I will take that snipe any day of the week. Unfortunately, though, it leaves. Our entire team in just a little corner of the map while well, their team owns the rest of the map. And that would be really bad, except they just start walking us one by one. I mean, how else does this turn into a winning game, right? I mean, how many times have you been in a position like this and you know it's a loss game and you know you're going to lose? And you do lose. Um, except somebody just decides to start capping this. The Emil is apparently not killing our. Tino 100 LT, I don't know how, um, but he is not. And our Batchat already escaped death. He didn't die with the other artillery at our base because he wasn't there when they attacked our base. He was smart enough to move with our team. Um, so there's an AMX around here somewhere. There is also an M60. He's probably the one capping, along with the Batchat artillery. Or the Batchat AP, sorry. Uh, 15, 
12. Ah, there, that is the Amex. That was the Amex. And then one of them leaves the cap. There was six seconds left in that before one of them leaves the cap. And they could have had this game over and done with by now. But they instead decided that they wanted to extend and make it more likely to do the, the kill all instead of the cap. And of course, Licensed Maniac, our T50A5A driver, jumps right up there and eliminates the T M60. We take out the Saren B, trying to back them up. And then the Batchet Artillery takes out the Batchet TAP over there. 25 TAP, sorry. Um, though I'm guessing Licensed uh, Maniac did most of that damage. And the, the Batchet Artillery just cleaned them up kind of thing. And so now we're in a position of power. We have, uh, what, four t actual tanks. Uh, I guess you could say three actual tanks, plus a, plus a death barn. Um, and they have a tank destroyer, an Emil, and a couple of artillery. So assuming we can find the artillery by themselves, we can pick those guys apart, and then it's just as simple uh, as getting behind the 704 or finding a side. And the Emil, I mean, it, it's going to have a hard time going through a Type 5. Unless he can somehow surprise him. Well, that's a surprise. As the... Probably the 704 or maybe the Emil just... Bounced a shot off of the Type 5. But Artillery definitely hit him. Um, he pings out where he thinks Artillery came from. And Licensed ma ma uh, Maniac is on the scene. Unfortunately, we missed just as the 704 appears. Which is unfortunate and really not great. <laughs> Really not great, because killing the 704 right now would be a real boon to the team. On the other hand, though, it looks like their 212A is actually charging at our T55A. Um, I don't understand what he thinks is going to happen here, but we all know what's actually going to happen here, right? Oh, look, the side of a 705. I wonder what we can do to that. Well, unfortunately, we can't pen. But we do do significant damage to them. And our Type 5 is still in the running. The Surprisingly enough, the artillery is still alive over there uh, with our T-55A hunting him down. Well, of course, as I say that, he does in fact kill the, uh, the, the 212A. And so now there's just three of them left. We still have an advantage of tanks, though we did lose the AMX 5120 in that whole scuffle. Um, I didn't see what happened to him, though I'm assuming the email happened to him. Um, yeah, because the 704 is just not paying attention. He just walks out in front of our gun. And that is the end of him. Batchat is way back there, probably reloading. Doesn't really matter. He's dead now. And now the only thing left on the enemy team is the Emil. Though the Emil dodges incoming artillery fire, and we're gonna just clip him in the side, or he's gonna be behind a sign. And then the shot's gonna dip too, though, and he's not, in fact, gonna get hit. Now, unfortunately, Licensed Mechanic is, or Maniac, is way up there, and if he doesn't pull back over the hill, we're not gonna get another shell. He's, he's going to either um, pin the Emil in place while he reloads, uh, while the Emil does a full reload, and then License is going to take him out, or the Emil is going to pop over him and put one shell into him and take him out of the game. But either way, it, yeah, unfortunately, because uh, License didn't pull back far enough, it didn't pull the Emil all the way over the hill. And if he come up far enough that we could have had shots on him, that would have been great. But unfortunately, he doesn't do that, and so we didn't have a shot, we couldn't take the shot, it wasn't worth it. And the mill hopefully is reloading right now. If it's not, he can take us out in three shells, whereas we can put one shell into him and take him out. However, I mean, they, I mean, both of us can be eliminated in a single clip from that guy. So we gotta take care of it, because of course, Afterwards, he can definitely take out the artillery by himself. Unfortunately for him, 
He never quite gets the shot off. As we come over the hill, boom, take him out for a six kill. That is our top gun. Unfortunately, no crucial contribution and no brothers in arms, but still a great game. And well done overall. Thank you for it for saying it in. Let's jump over and see what his battle results are. Hopefully this time it doesn't crash on me. So we seem to be actually recording. And it is, of course, an ace tanker, bruiser, fire for effect, high caliber, and top gun. Well done, sir. Um, everybody in here it was a joy to watch you kill. The only thing I still don't understand is the 704. Apparently, we never actually made contact with him, so all those hits were splash damage. And why did he try running sideways across our line of fire? Of course, that was never going to work, um, but I don't understand why he tried it. But it's just so many people in this game just caught them side on. And anytime you can catch something side on with a death bar, oddly enough, you're going to die. Um, well done. Thank you so much for, for saying this in. Um, I can't wait to see your next game. And maybe um, Ralphie or, or, or Dark is, is, is Shadow. Dark, dark is Shadow? Dark is how? How? Somebody can tell me this, because it doesn't make any sense to me. Warrior here can send me a game. That would be nice too, right? Um, also, props to T55A. He deserves it. Unfortunately, he made some mistakes at the end, but other than that, he played a good game. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day this IOE throughout.